everyone, happy Wednesday. I wanna tackle a documentary that was released yesterday. You can catch it on Amazon or Apple TV. And um, it's called Toxic Beauty. And it's digging into the industry that is near and dear to my heart and taking a look at the lack of regulation and trying to um, share some research and studies about the impact this has on our bodies. And I'll post the link to the article below in just a minute. Um, but Vogue.com did a really great summary of the documentary um, before you watch it, which I highly recommend everybody watch it and I want to get your feedback. Um, but the title of the article is The New Toxic Beauty Documentary Asks, Are Skincare Products the New Cigarettes? So that's kind of the reason for the choice and the alarming title today. Um, so then it just kind of goes on to say to give you some highlights. Um, one of the opening scenes talks about um, a uh, designer, a chemist in um, cosmetic brands, um, had a meeting with a um, makeup artist and now founder of a, uh, another beauty brand. And they were just having a conversation and the... Um, chemist um, kind of spelled it out and just said the cosmetic industry is destroying women's cells and when asked like what are you going to do about her you know or, why don't you say something and the chemist said he can't so it digs into a three-year investigation on the unregulated chemicals and personal care I'm just kind of hitting some of the highlights um the makeup artist herself had suffered from um, illnesses such as panic attacks, memory loss, hormonal imbalances, rashes. Um, and she said two decades ago, the makeup artist actually had an interaction with a technician delivering her lab results. And he asked if she actually worked in the cosmetic industry. And he said he could tell because the chemicals in her hair, blood, and urine were more commonly found in beauty products than found in people. So her work in the industry actually, you know, was showing in her body. Um, let's see. They talk about um, following, you know, the Johnson & Johnson and how that, um, that goes back dating to 1957 when they first noticed um, that asbestos, which is a known carcinogen, had been detected in Johnson & Johnson's talc supply, which is um, what is the connection to the people that have gotten ovarian cancer, which is kind of crazy. Um, and it just kind of said, you know, when they're comparing it to the tobacco industry, when cigarettes first came out, everyone thought it was safe. I mean, you would see pregnant women um, smoking. Um, it was, you know, kind of a status thing and, and women's lib and all of that. And then, um, you know, how many years later and cases later, you know, it, it just now begs the question, um, is skincare the new cigarette in 40 years from now? Um, will we have, you know, that absolute clear link that um, talc, or really it's the asbestos in the talc, is linked to ovarian cancer, just like smoking is linked to lung cancer. Um, so it, there's a lot of other quotes and things in there. It's a pretty short article, so like I said, I'll post it so you can check it out. Um, but I just, you know, want to kind of, you know, validate the things that we've been saying um, for years. I mean, it just, it talks about studies where the exposure adds up. You know, it's not, you know, they're saying, oh, well, it's, you know, small doses, small doses. But if you're using like 15, 20 products a day, all of those with multiple ingredients, that exposure over time can really wreak havoc on your system. And let's face it, people are getting sicker and sicker all the time. So um, I just wanted to come on and share that. Um, I'm excited. I'm going to watch it this evening. So I'll kind of share some of my findings in the comments and things that shocked me. I'm sure it's going to blow my mind. It's a 90 minute documentary. Um, and it's called Toxic Beauty. It's on Amazon and Apple TV. And in the interim, I will give you the link. I'll post it in the comments um, below or maybe in the post itself. 
either way, so you can check it out and just read a nice bit. Vogue did a really good summary of kind of the highlight points, so you can kind of see an overview. I've been kind of texting it to some people today, and, you know, people are just, you know, some shocked, some not surprised, um, but it really just digs into this industry and kind of why we're all doing what we're doing. So my ask, like always, check it out. At least read the article, share with your friends and loved ones, and um, help us all bring awareness to this so we can, you know, get people on the track to safer products. Have a great night. Thanks for watching.